Well, the new facilities here in, uh, in Limerick are certainly going to have a positive effect on what Swim Island are uh, currently achieving, but also hoping to achieve in the future. The fact that a second pool is going to be added to what is already a, a fantastic 50 metre pool here is going to give you a great deal of versatility. And again, that's something that's uh, as difficult to find elsewhere in Ireland and difficult to find elsewhere in Europe. Having the Olympic standard springboards available in Limerick raises the opportunity for you to not only develop what is already a fantastic swimming programme, but obviously to, to bring diving on board more than just at a participation level but really to focus at the development of high performance divers at European world and Olympic level and so the fact that your springboards will be of Olympic quality and Olympic standard means by implication you can start to progress athletes of that nature through to 2020 and beyond. Well all of us at Swim Island are absolutely thrilled that this is happening and we can't wait to see where this goes in the future. We're strongly hopeful that we see even greater success come out of the University of Limerick that we see Olympians come out of this facility uh, in 2020 and beyond and uh, we can't wait to continue working in this excellent partnership that we already have and, and see it uh, go from strength to strength into the future. Uh, it's been incredible, I don't think it can be understated how, how big a difference it's made. The lads never knew anything different. Um, they've always travelled up and down, whether it's Limerick to Cork or Cork to Limerick, and then you're cutting the, the training time you have together and, and the, just the camaraderie and the, the time as a squad together was, is, is so little compared to all other professional teams. I'm going from house to train and for a swim, and that's pretty much me for the week. It's, it's, it suits a professional athlete as we are. We've got our own full building. Uh, which is brilliant, we don't have to go anywhere for meeting. The pitch is obviously right here, but our change rooms is just there. The gym is in between. We don't really stray too far from it because we've got everything at our foot. Dream come true is the exact words. Watching your colleagues and the lads you played underage with and lads you're playing with whenever you're, you're playing in big Heineken Cup games and then the next day they're off to camp and you might be on a week off or you're in the next week to play a Pro 12 game. It's a few different emotions, the relief, it's an honour, it makes you more hungry, like I'm thinking before, I just, just give me one cap and I'll just I'll be happy with that, like I can't retire without having played for Ireland. That changes within a day, like you, you'll enjoy it for that night and celebrate it with the lads, but then the next day it's strange, your focus literally switches now. You can't be celebrating it too much or resting it all too much because there's too much to play for over the next few weeks to be doing that. This is a momentous occasion in the evolution of UL sport, in our mission to cater for the basic beginner to the Olympic and elite athlete, in one place and at the same time. We have a swimming pool that caters for everybody, including diving. We have a high performance center for Munster. This is part of our journey, and it's only part of our journey because there's more to come and there's the exciting facilities coming down the track, and we can't wait to produce them.